How's it going everyone, Shifty here and I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. Today's video is a quick guide on how to get the last word exotic hand cannon. With the DCV coming, many of these quest lines will no longer be available and I hope that this video will help you complete the quest before it goes away. There will be other means to obtain it after the release of Beyond Light, but we don't know exactly what that entails yet. There will be a legacy kiosk, but we don't know the requirements to obtain exotics from that just yet. So if you want to guarantee you get it, follow this guide and you'll have yourself the last word. If you end up enjoying the video or find the guide useful, make sure to hit that like button, and also remember to subscribe to see my future Destiny 2 content. Alright, so the first step, if you don't already have the quest, is to head over to the Drifter and pick the quest up. It may be on the second page of the Drifter's menu. Once acquired, you will be on a step called the Cleansing. For this step, you must collect 75 Hive Tablets, which drop randomly from Hive enemies, you will need to kill 3 Hive bosses, and you need to defeat 125 Hive enemies with solar damage. So for this step, I recommend hitting up the Escalation Protocol event on Mars, as it has everything you need. It has a ton of Hive enemies, it has Hive bosses, and you just need to equip a solar weapon and your solar subclass to make sure you defeat some Hive with solar damage. You can either do the first wave 3 times, or if you've got a good group or find a group of random players in the area, you can do three back-to-back -back waves. Make sure to pick up the Hive tablets that drop. When you pick them up, you will see it on the right-hand side of your screen. Once that step is completed, you will have a cleansed artifact that you must bring back to the Drifter. He will then give you the next step of the quest, which is called the Temptation. And this step will likely be quite irritating for some players, because you need to kill other players in the Crucible. Specifically, you need to kill 135 Guardians. There is some good news and some bad news. The bad news is dying will set your progress back, but the good news is that assists do count towards this objective. My recommendation for this step is to group up with some friends if you can and stick together and try to team fire. You also need to make sure to tag as many enemies as possible to get the assists. Now if you head in solo, try to follow around your teammates both to tag kills and get assists and to stay alive. Pushing enemies by yourself will make this step extra frustrating so just make sure to stick around as many team members as possible. Also make sure to use weapons that you are comfortable with in PvP. So long as you have close to a positive efficiency most games, you will eventually finish this part. Once you've finally completed that part you'll be on the next step which is called the Damnation. And this step requires you to stop a Hive Ritual. If you go to Titan on your director, you will see a blue quest. Head to the quest marker and you will be required to complete a special version of the Cargo Bay 3 Lost Sector. In this Lost Sector, you'll find more enemies than normal alongside a shielded acolyte. To complete this step, you must kill that acolyte. In order to take the shield down, you need to kill two wizards. One is generally to the left and the other is to the right. Once that is done, you can damage the Acolyte. Now if you don't do enough damage fast enough, he may put his shield back up again. All you need to do is repeat killing the newly spawned wizards, then you'll be able to finish the Acolyte off. Once you are done with that, you will find a new Jagged Purpose, which you need to take to the Drifter. Upon showing that to the Drifter, he will give you the next step in the questline called a Sullied Light. This step has four components to it. You need to collect etched crystals from Lost Sector wanted enemies, earn best served cold and blood for blood medals in the crucible, defeat hive enemies with precision damage to collect larva, and sacrifice hive bosses summoned in the witch's ritual heroic public event. Alright, so first of all, keep an eye out for the witch's ritual public events. It spawns on Titan in this location, Mars in this location, and the moon in this location. Periodically check to see if they appear so that you can make sure you get the three done, and don't forget to make it heroic. Next, you can do the etched crystals and the hive larva at the same time. Head to Titan and do the Cargo Bay 3 Lost Sector that we just did a special version of. This is a very quick Lost Sector which will help you get this step done quickly. So precision kills on hive have a chance to drop larva which you must collect 50 of, so take the Lost Sector slow and make sure to get precision kills on the enemies. You'll overall need to run the Lost Sector 15 times because you need 15 etched crystals and you only get one per boss defeated. Once you've obtained all 50 larvae, you can just speed run the Lost Sector however many more times that you need. I recommend a good damage super and using the Falling Guillotine Sword or any sword to quickly rush to the boss and take him out. I waited to talk about the Crucible step because you need to get 25 medals of either the Blood for Blood or Best Serve Cold medal. In order to get the Blood for Blood medal, you need to kill enemies that recently killed your teammates. To get the Best Serve Cold medal, you must kill the enemy that last defeated you. Now, I would again recommend staying with teammates and prioritizing enemies that have recently killed your teammates here. 
This could potentially be frustrating, but it's quite possible to get eight or more medals per game if you have a good game. Now, once that's done, head over to the Drifter again. He will give you the final part of the quest called the conversation. To complete this, you will see a quest icon on the Tangled Shore. Mark it and head to the nearest landing zone and make your way to the quest marker. It will be a similar route to the Broodhold Strike. Once there, begin the quest. Make sure you are prepared as the modifier on this mission is suppressed light, so health regeneration is slower, but you can replenish health from defeating enemies. Also, your ability recharge is much slower, but they do more damage. So head on into the mission and make your way through it. Once you've reached a certain point in the mission, you will see a plate that needs to be captured. Stand on that plate and a last word will appear. Grab it and begin aiming at the enemy's hand that contains a gun. When he draws, shoot that hand. Now proceed and kill enemies in your path. You will find another plate, only this time two enemies will spawn. Remember the order they spawn in because that will be the order they draw their weapon. In my case, they spawn right then left, so I prepared by aiming at the gun of the right enemy. When he draws his weapon, I shot, then immediately aimed at the left enemy in preparation. Once that's done, proceed to kill more enemies and make your way to the final plate. This time, there will be three enemies. Again, remember the order they spawn as that will be the order that they draw their weapons again. Once you've shot all three, congratulations, you're the proud owner of the last word. You will have one more step to go to hear dialogue from the drifter, but that's it. Quest complete. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.